A painting up for auction this weekend is linked to a prominent mountain family and an American frontier legend. News 13's John Lee reports experts believe the history behind the piece could make it extremely valuable. This oil painting drives home an interesting fact that we can't always predict where the trail of history takes us. And the portrait's past certainly doesn't hurt its value today. There's always an interesting story in their family connections. Edith Garrett is the old Buncombe County Genealogical Society's president. See, these books have a lot of documentation. And here we have John Patton. And Garrett says the prominent Patton family's tree gives you a sense of their Buncombe County roots. It had at one time over a thousand acres in eastern Buncombe County. And here's where we see Elizabeth Patton. She was born in 1788 in Swannanoa. She's the woman captured on the canvas you saw earlier. Read further and you find out her first husband was James Patton. Who happens to be her first cousin, actually. And he died fighting in the Creek Indian War in Tennessee. The loss that led Elizabeth to a legend. Her second marriage was to Davy Crockett. Worlds collided. When he married Elizabeth. Crockett, of course, king of the wild frontier. A rosy complexion and six feet tall. Before her first husband died in combat, he requested that his friend Davy take the personal belongings home to his widow Elizabeth. Crockett still reeling himself from his wife's death. He did make the journey back and ultimately was able to meet her and fell in love with her and, and ultimately married her and had their own family. And that surprising love story brings us back to this work of art for years kept in the attic of the Patton family's Asheville home. The value at auction now estimated anywhere between 10000 and a half million dollars, while the value of the story behind it is priceless. In Buncombe County, John Lee, News 13.